All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, man. Today, we're just going to go ahead and go through some reasons why the Toronto Raptors did win the Goran Dragic trade. Now, if you guys watched my video earlier today, I was like pretty much 100% convinced that the Raptors were not done once they had initially traded for Thaddeus Young. Well, not necessarily the case. Uh, Eubanks was in that trade, Wade. He is gone, so no Drew Eubanks for the Toronto Raptors, but I really like bringing Thaddeus Young to this roster, and you know, one thing that I think should be considered here is if Toronto wants to, there's room in the buyout market. You know, it happens every single year um, when you have guys like Drew Eubanks just, I mean, they get uh, bought out immediately, and it's almost like its own little like mini free agency for contending teams. And so, you know, Lakers took advantage of it last year with Drummond. You know, the Nets took advantage of it last year with Millsap and LaMarcus Aldridge. And so Toronto, you know, realistically, um, especially if they want another guard on the bench, Gary Harris, you know, there's going to Gary, for some reason, Gary Harris is the only name that's coming to my mind for a guard that's in the, um, the buyout biz right now. But Basically, I like this trade, man. The protected first was definitely the kicker. Um, when I initially recorded the video, I had no idea that neither Eubanks or the protected first. Um, just real quick before we get into this video, though, guys, if you enjoy it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll try and make this one quick for you guys because I got my golf podcast here in about 20 minutes. Um, but basically, the way I see it right now is this draft... And every time I say this on video, everyone people disagree. The dra the middle of the draft, middle to late of this draft, don't look that great. You know, it's definitely not like last year. And so realistically, Toronto trading away a lottery protected first, it's going to go to San Antonio immediately. So the lottery protection basically means um, if the Raptors fall into the lottery, they get to reclaim the pick and it gets you know sent next year. Um, but in this case, I believe the Toronto Raptors will definitely make the playoffs, and so they won't have a first-round pick this year. It'll probably be uh, somewhere late first round. But in the trade, they did acquire Detroit's uh, second-round pick, and Detroit currently the worst team in the NBA. That's looking like it might be pick number 31, 32, 33 at the most. So it's solid. It's solid. You're bringing a veteran presence onto the team, and you know one thing we were talking about, all week, all month, all season is whoever you trade Goran Dragic for, as long as it's a return, as long as it's a playable player, you win the trade. You, you really kind of win the trade. And if you want to get even bigger picture here, you can go back and look, you know, all right, realistically, um, kind of in the Kyle Lowry trade, you kind of acquired Precious Achua, um, Thaddeus Young, and a second round draft pick. And I guess Eubanks who ended up getting waived. So I don't think this is a failure one bit because this Raptors team, apparently they've had their eye on Thaddeus Young for several years now. Um, the way the, dra the trade deadline went this year is everything looks like it just kind of like fell through. I don't know if it, it might have been the James Harden trade. I don't think that a lot of teams around the league were anticipating that happening. Apparently there was like five to six teams at least waiting on a Harden Ben Simmons trade to happen before they went on with their moves. So my guess is that blockbuster trade, you know, even like the CJ trade, all of these crazy Sabonis trades, it definitely affected the market. And so, you know, that first sucks. Uh, but like I said, when you really dive into it, you're only going back like 10, 15 spots at the absolute most. So, you know, there's, there's worse things out there. Toronto, I think right now at this point, um, it's clear they have enough young talent. You know, Scotty Barnes, Delano Banton, Precious Achua. Um, I think they have enough young talent where no matter how the Raptors do this season, next year you can focus on probably not acquiring a big time star, like especially at the center position. That's probably for like two years from now if they're going to do something crazy like that or something big time like that, I should say. What I think they're going to do in the offseason is just round out the bench. I think they're just going to round out the bench. Maybe you'd see like a small-ish big-time move or maybe you get rid of Chris Boucher or something. But I anticipate Chris Boucher will be back as a Toronto Raptor next season. So I think when you add everything together, Toronto really is nice with this. I, I think this is real nice. Ken Birch, Scotty Barnes, those two basically split starter minutes starting in the starting rotation. So... 
Now you have the bench a little bit more rounded out. It's just a little bit more rounded out. And like I said in my video earlier today, you know, Thaddeus Young's stats, especially offensively, they're nothing at all really this season. He's averaging like 14, 15 minutes a game in San Antonio. Last year on my Chicago Bulls, he definitely helped us out. And he was a guy I really wanted my Chicago Bulls to go after. So it's all going to be okay, Thaddeus Young. Don't look at his age or his stats and think, oh man, the Raptors just got fleeced. I am, once again, very surprised that that was the only move Toronto made, um, but you never know the buyout market. They might make a move to try and just get a little bit deeper. I think this Raptors team is very deep, um, championship roster deep. They'd have to continue to click like the way they're clicking right now. I mean, no team really can take down the Toronto Raptors right now, uh, but once you get deep into the playoffs, you're you know, even talking finals like Phoenix Suns, well-rounded team, Golden State Warriors, well-rounded team. Now you got to worry about Brooklyn. Now you got to worry about Philadelphia. Milwaukee's a force in their own regard. Miami, Chicago, they're still big hitters. So the Eastern Conference just got really competitive, man. It just got really competitive. So as far as championship goes, they'd have to just be playing on their A game. Even if they're playing on their A game right now, I still think they're a little bit short. I think ideally I would want the Raptors to make at least one move um, in the buyout market. You know, I don't know, like I said, I don't know what player it would be. Gary Harris is all right, but I don't think he provides them with enough of the offense that they're looking for. I think even like a Dennis Schroeder, if he were to get bought out by the Rockets, he's not going to, it doesn't look like, but you know, that's I intriguing players like that who can kind of just create sparks off of the bench. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw more Malachi Flynn in the second half of the season to just try and get more going offensively. The seven-man rotations just have not been, like, they're just worrisome. You know, we talk about it all the time, like, seven-man rotations where the starters are playing 40 minutes. You know, even Pascal Siakam, I know he's balling his ass off right now, but 42 minutes every single game time he plays, like, that's not what you really want to see. So bringing in Thaddeus, it does just kind of, it's just another role significant player like this guy been on championship caliber teams you know he knows what it takes he's not going to create locker room issues he's going to come in fit into the system perfectly he plays great defense he plays good team basketball he's on brand with what the toronto raptors are looking for right now i'd say for sure so you know toronto um i think every eastern conference team even if you made a move like the nets and sixers i think every eastern conference team right now is like Maybe not worried is the best word, but like, you know, your eyes are definitely more open now. You know, the the Eastern Conference was pretty wide open until now. It, it's, you know, getting tighter, man. These teams are getting better. So we'll see how everyone kind of goes throughout the buyout market. Uh, but as long as Toronto keeps playing the way they're playing right now, they're going to be just fine. At the end of the day, that's how that boils down. So uh, that's really it for today. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. But I really like the Thaddeus Young trade, man. You know, I obviously you know you'd like to get maybe someone of a little bit higher caliber back like you know there was a lot of Tate and horton tucker rumors um late last night early this morning but that didn't end up working out um you know first round pick it's not ideal but it's not the end of the world man you get a nice little second rounder that should be at the most three picks after the first round ends and so if the draft isn't that deep you'll be just fine so uh, Raptors Rockets tonight and uh, I'll definitely get a recap going for you guys uh, when that game is over so hopefully the Raptors get to eight straight and uh, my Rockets can get a nice little draft pick going so hit the like button hit that sub button for daily Raptors content and I'll see you tomorrow later tonight